New at five, a man accused of pretending to be a rideshare driver and sexually assaulting a woman greeted with an embrace when he walked out of jail. CBS 4's Joan Murray was there and joins us now live with the latest in this case. Joan? And Lauren Fernando Hernandez bonded out of jail here a few hours ago after meeting the $135,000 bond a judge had set yesterday. He will be free awaiting trial as long as he continues to meet the court requirements. Only CBS 4 there as Fernando Hernandez bonded out of the Broward jail. After embracing his wife, Hernandez headed away, but would not talk about the serious sex assault charges he faces. Mr. Hernandez, what do you have to say about these charges? Was this consensual? She told him that, that um, she was not a prostitute, um, that you know she was not going to do anything of, of such matter, and that's when he um, proceeded to, to rape her. Miramar police said Hernandez, posing as a rideshare or taxi driver, picked the woman up at Miami International a week and a half ago. She was here on an immigration matter. Hernandez is accused of assaulting her in a parking lot near her hotel. Hernandez's attorney said during his bond hearing, he's innocent. The accuser has an ulterior motive. If a victim claims, if a person claims that they're a victim of a crime, they then get immigration protection, potentially even the possibility to remain in the United States for a long time and possibly indefinitely. While police say no one else has accused Hernandez so far, they and rideshare companies are urging customers to use a rideshare app to book rides. There are safeguards built in. Do not get into a car um, with, with someone that, that, you know, offers you a ride. Um, she thought in her mind uh, that she was getting into a vehicle of someone that was acting as a taxi or, uh, you know, an Uber driver. Now, the judge ordered him to have no contact with this alleged victim. Now, we did check with Uber, and while he did drive for them at one time, Uber has told us that in the last year, he has not been an active driver. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.